Before I'm going here, and in this video, we'll be looking at the update to the Crozer PWO 24 bale auto load by Weekend Farmers Americ 10 on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map. 16.07 megabytes to download. What has been updated? It is a few things. Chainslog 1100. Um, the loading side can now be selected during assembly, so we'll check that out. Unloading assistant can now be act deactivated, we'll look at that. Configuration for beacons, we'll look at that. DAL debug mode deactivated, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, added Crone Big Pack 1270 square bale support. Uh, the modded baler by Herbie, so if you have the Mod, I did not download that for this demonstration, but if you uh, if you have the modded baler by Herbie, the Crone Big Pack 1270 square bale, and this now supports that bale. Now, let's take a look and see where we'll find it. Bale loaders, and whoop, there it is, 21.5, uh, it will handle uh round bales 125 to 238 and the square bales 488 centimeters i believe that's from the modded baler by herbie uh size there that's why it's uh quite a large size for the square bale round and square bales so what are our options uh, auto load standard or auto load of course uh, wheel brands hasn't changed beacons. Do we now have a uh, option for beacons left right or both? Uh, tension belts extension. We have the two the three different designs this one this one and this one That actually Plays a role. Well, they all Basically, they all operate the same. I have one of each just to show you and then colors of course those have not changed right so let's let's zip on over here because I have one here, and um, you know what? Let's uh, let's start from scratch, shall we? To just show you, um, let's just sell them both and go ahead and buy a new one, and I will demonstrate what you get right from new. So bale loaders, there we go. Right, auto load, right, beacons, left, right, left and right. And we'll 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 stick with this. Well, let's go with this version because that's the interesting one. They all they all um, act the same or operate the same. So let's buy that and we'll show you how exactly how you get it right from the store. and then grow, go through your options because there are a number of options with this trailer and you can um, configure it to whatever um, whatever you like there is a lots of choice here so work mode mode easy let's talk about that one first toggle work mode wheezy or pro if you pick pro basically it works as a regular bale loading or a bale trailer except that once you place the bale on the top it locks into place so it's kind of auto load except you have to lift the bale up and throw it in we're not going to look at that that one had that one that feature has not changed the features that affect the easy mode work mode is what I think um, is what we're going to be looking at so there's the beacons signals and lights so beacons were added l1 and square operating position or transporting so l1 and up unfold the trailer it's going to do this why only one side well let's fold it back up again <clears throat> let's go to r1 loading side left so the third from the top there loading side left we can choose what side it loads from now left right or left and right so you can choose left side only right side only or both sides so we had it on left right <laughs> correct 
we'll turn it to right side loading and when we go L1 and up unfold the trailer it does that it unfolds the right side why because that's the side at which it will load and let's uh, go operating position and that is the side that it will load bales from so if we fold it back up again and that fence goes up it still loads okay so I thought it didn't load when it was like that but it does right so uh, unfold so that kind of it, actually what that does is just kind of shows you what side it loads from really I guess because it still loads um, or you can have left and right both sides and when you unfold both sides go down just to show you that yes both sides are unloading right so <clears throat> Now, what else? Uh, so, un to unload, unload bales, why can't we do anything? Well, because unloading assistant, it's off. See the, the one right down, right below fold trailer? Now we can turn that on. So, basically right now, it you'll have to remove them yourself unless you want to make use of the auto or the unload assistant when you press that switches it on or off with it on when you see the little bales down there now that means you can move the bales around if that's off you can't it's basically um so you can have pro mode which means you have to set the bales up up on top you can have easy mode which means the bales just pick up as normal and then you can have the unload assistant either off or on so there is quite a lot of choice now here of course we have all our adjustments and if we just turn it off it re reorients itself so yeah um pretty neat actually uh let's go ahead and unload bales here and there we go so yeah um kind of really cool how you can switch all that on or off basically right here just make sure if you want to use the auto load functions that you choose auto load in the store uh do, 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 do beacons unload assistant deact yes i think we've covered everything so um quite an interesting bail trailer everything seems to work as it should and fairly easy if i didn't have any trouble figuring out how to use it all so the the um, controls are uh, i would say i always say basic enough for me to figure it out anyways so there you go the update changelog 1100 to the crozer pwo 24 bale auto load by weekend farmers amarac 10 on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.